G'day everyone, Ollie here. Um, we're out for another adventure today, going down the coast to get some green lip mussels. Um, it's a beautiful day, it's literally blue as can be, bluebird sky, um, not a breath of wind, and tide's dropping. We're going to shoot down on the coast on the bike. I don't know if you've seen my previous video, I'll put a little link in the um, end of the video up there if you want to watch that. And, um, yeah, gonna get a good feed of mussels, see what's up on the coast. I've had some pretty rough weather lately, so you can always find all sorts of stuff washed up on the um, west coast here, treasure and fishing buoys and stuff. Um, so yeah, might get a new spare fishing float. Um, yeah, guaranteed feed of mussels though, that's the main goal. And um, yeah, it's gonna be beauty, so let's get into it. Right, we're just going to cruise out here through this um, bit of farmland and we're going to be getting onto the coast in about 10 minutes. Um, a lot of people ask me how do you get access out to, out to the coast to get these mussels and whatnot. They've seen my, my previous video, um, it's just private access. There are lots of spots along the west coast so you can go out to any major beach, just got to cover a few k's on foot and you'll um, find any any rock that's out in the water at low tide and it's, it's going to be covered in green lip mussels here um, so it's, it's not that hard otherwise just call into the local supermarket and grab a bag it costs five bucks or something um, that, that easy but yeah it's not all about that obviously um, about the adventure so yeah that's why I do it I just love going, going along the coast um, and mussels are really just a, a bonus on top yeah anyways it's just a beautiful beautiful day unreal um, should have really bought the surf caster and, and tried to get some fish, but I've got a got a bit saved in the freezer already. I'll, I'll eat that first before I get any more. It's a bit like that sometimes. Anyways, let's keep going. Good old trusty Ag 100 for the, the mission today. Love this bike.
Oh, looks like I might have had a few storms along here recently. Oh, just found a dead sea, I'll show you. This is our little trick. We go along the coast, soft sand. That stops our bike sinking in. Just a bit of driftwood going to use. But um, yeah, here's a dead seal, little fur seal, getting along the whole coast around New Zealand. Um, Gee, he's got some nasty little teeth in there, eh? Wow. Not sure what's happened to him, but all sorts of stuff can happen. Big storms, and they just get just get really tired and. You do see them along here in winter after the big storms or the spring and uh, autumn equinox storms and um, you see them resting up on the rocks and stuff but um, maybe he was sick, who knows, he's um, perish but there's plenty of plenty of those around. I'm more, I'm more scared of um, seals out there when diving generally than um, sharks or anything, eh? they, they, they're so unpredictive, they just, and they give you little nips and stuff, it's, um, yeah, it freaks me out. Sharks, you can learn their behaviour and kind of get to get to know them and and how they're going to react but um those seals they just nip around and circle you and oh, come up behind your back freak me out man <laughs> incredible cliffs here you've got to be careful in these um cooler months as well after heavy rain which we actually actually just had a few days ago and um you can get some big slips coming down so you do have to be careful probably not the um best spot right here where i am so i better better keep moving amazing though how good is this me the egg no one else love the west coast Fishing, fishing float. Full of styrene. I'll keep that though. Chuck it in the back here. Good little drum cut open. Great on the bikes. Great little storage rack. Whew, it's fresh, but it's good. Last time I was down here, this this rock field here was completely completely covered. Whew, quick break. I don't know if you can hear that, and I don't know if the GoPro will pick this up, but there's hundreds of gulls here. We've got a good good seagull colony just here on the on the coast. All perched up on the cliffs here. You might be able to see the white dots. So yeah, we're, we're coming close to 
chick season and um, yeah there'll be little grey fluffy gulls all up on the, on the cliffs here soon. So they're not happy, I'm going to get the hell out of here because they dive bomb me and, and they shit and vomit all over you, eh? they, they don't like us near their, um, their nesting grounds which is, which is fair enough so I'm going to get out of here before I get shit on. I think that's an old, uh, old saying, if you get shit on by a bird it's good luck but I try not to rely on luck too much in life and I'd rather get, not get shit on so I'm out of here. Looks like we might have our first tricky little rock field. Shouldn't be too hard in the two wheeler. Let's go have a look. The tide's only halfway out, so um, I've actually come along quite early. So I think on the way back it should be a breeze. We should be able to go. We should be able to go right around here. Just navigate through here. Might pick a higher route. So I was only down here a few weeks ago and, and this rock field just definitely wasn't here. It's just um, come out of the water. All good. Another big slip there. That's probably a couple months old. I've been down here when the, um, when the slips happened on the cliff, like similar size to that, and it's just this massive, uh, well, it's quite a silent, it's a big woof. You look around and half the cliff's <laughs> gone. I had one about 200 meters from me, it was, um, it was, a, it was a bit scary, but um, yeah, if you get trapped under one of those, you're, you're gone, mate. Oh, beautiful, a bit of sun it's coming out. Alright, we're probably three quarters of the way along now, so um, not much treasure today. We've got one boy, but who knows what else we'll find. Let's get along there and get some muscles, eh? Kind of our uh, first roadblock here. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna have a quick look, um, quick look on foot before we go around here. You gotta be careful. These big rock pools it can look like. Um, just a little bit of layer of water on the sand, but you hit it and it's deep. So that's all good. Oh, don't want to get water down my red bands. Right, that's looking good through there. Let's have a quick look. Shit, these rocks are slippery. Okay, easy, easy. Not good. a bit tricky to be honest. Almost need this tide to come out a bit more. It's probably got another 2Ks, 3Ks so it's not the end of the world. Could walk the rest but I'm um, pretty keen to just cruise on the bike so might just sit tight for 10 or 15 minutes and um, wait for that water to go out a bit more. Yeah. See, this just was not here last time. See, if I stand up next to this, what am I? About 6 foot 180 or something. So that's 160, 1 1.6 meters high. And that was just fully buried last time I was down here a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's old. Oh, bottom of these cliffs so these cliffs would have extended well out into the towards the sea here back in the day and they just slowly erode and erode over time yeah unless I can get up here higher but 
I'm not exactly a pro and it's just a little ag bike. I'm not going to be doing any jumps or anything. Uh, that's close to a metre high, so might just have to have to sit tight for a while. Got a couple of bananas in the bag, I'll have a feed and just enjoy the scenery, I guess. can't remember the scientific name for the stuff but we used to call it mermaid's hair or something back in the day as a kid I don't know what everyone else calls it beautiful though cool stuff real slippery gotta be careful Jesus well I've just been sitting tight for 10 or 15 already and um, god you'd think the water's coming in <laughs> got some big surges here so still waiting for that water to suck out another another 10 or 15 and get a gap and uh, get around so we can carry on geez that sounds bright well I've been waiting here for about 20 minutes now 20 to 25 minutes and just saw an opening just before so just gonna wait for this um, one last surge to suck out and we should have a gap to sneak through um, and then it should be a breeze coming coming back home like I said the tide's uh, gone out we're about two hours away from low tide now so plenty of time to play with uh, get down grab a feed of mussels and, and cruise back so let's hope we don't hit a big west coast pothole big big rock pool and um, I'd merge the bike anyways, we're just going to go for it, fingers crossed. Alright, it looks like we just had a big surge. As soon as this sucks out, I'm going to go for it, let's get the bike going. full of water but got through probably good this way another 10 minutes ah bugger nothing worse than wet gumboots the other bit wet so I'll um, wait till that surge goes out again <laughs> Let's 
better than my do his thing. Anyways, here we are. Sack out. <laughs> Not that sack. What do we got? Where did I put it? No, that's the banana. There we go. Good old sack. That should be perfect. It looks like we've used that before for mussels. Well, let's go fill up. Um, get some for the family as well. And. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a feast tonight. Been doing um, deep fried mussels lately. I'm never really into deep frying food and oil and all that stuff, but um, they cook their batter and they're beautiful. So I might um, do a bit of a do a bit of a recipe for you guys later on, and and um, a cook beer batter. It's the most simple recipe, but man, it came up beautiful. Do that, and then I don't know, maybe some fritters, whatever I feel like later. So anyways, let's get some mussels. Cheers, bike. Save me some walking. So this rock is pretty amazing. I've been coming down here since I was a little boy with the old man, and um, he'd been coming down here since he was a young boy with his old man. So it's a pretty, pretty special spot for us. Um, my grandfather was his favourite rock. He used to fish down here his whole life. Do really well, as you can see. That's low tide, so it's sticking out into the water. Um, even at low tide, so snapper are coming in here to feed on on the mussels and um, all sorts of fish are just around here. It's a very uh, nutrient rich coast, the west coast, at, um, to start with. So, anyways, I won't ramble on the fit on about the fishing because that's not what we're here to do. If there was some visibility, I'd probably jump in here with my spear gun, but it's generally just mud the whole whole. Uh, Whole 12 months of the year you get a couple of days per year and um, where it's all right out here but all right i mean one or two meters so yeah plenty of other places to dive so i generally get the mussels from the south side um just less sun on them and stuff i don't know that's a myth or what but but here we go look at all these, these beautiful green lips oh that's just a little little rock here on the corner so we haven't even got to the main rock yet might shoot around that other side um, and see if I've got some better access ah. that water's really pushing in so just up there where it's breaking there right there that's where all the good muscles are but um, I might jump up on top and have a look around give it 10 10 20 minutes to suck out Muscle Rock. Stunning coastline. Not a person in sight. Look at that, just beautiful. Even the rock pools here are pretty loaded with mussels. A couple in there. Plenty in there. Hi. So yeah, nice big hole in here. Problem is you just, you throw your line in every second cast, you just get snagged on the rock, so. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one.
dad was telling me he used to come down here with my grandfather and and fish off here and they would just make a little a fire on top of the rock and catch a kawa and, and put the whole fish in the embers and then the um and the hot ash and stuff and that would just cook away slowly and and smoke the fish beautifully no tin foil or nothing and the scales would protect it and basically once it's done the scales almost melted off or just came off and the fish inside is just perfect beautifully smoked so I don't know if anyone else has tried that I'd like to hear um, some similar recipe ideas and just stuff like that it's it's cool to hear some more basic methods of cooking they're often the best anyways are in my opinion about as calm as it really gets out here very calm day for the west coast fortunately you just just get no visibility out here especially further up and down the coast there's spots to dive um, you might get a couple of meters on the best day of the year for a bit of cray diving but it's um, yeah hard work I like a couple of meters <laughs> At least you can see what's bumping into you, you know, those, those bronze whalers and seals and stuff. I wipe the boots off, get the feet wet, and um, we'll get some nice fresh ones that are down closer to the water's edge. Here's the last remnants of an um, unfortunate car down here which didn't survive. Last pieces of the chassis or axle or something poking out. Still a bit of a strop around it, maybe they tried to tow it out once it got stuck. Who knows? Quite a few cars you, you see buried in the sand down this coast. A lot of stolen cars, but um, yeah, some people um, just just don't know how the west coast works and get the tides wrong and, and whatnot, and you're gone. There goes your vehicle. Right, whip these boots off. Need your wet socks. Let them dry up. Actually, pretty dry these ones inside. I think they're a special sock. Ah, feels better anyways. Let's get some muscles. All right, let's have a look. Saddies. covered in some weird stuff at the moment. Not sure what that is. Never seen it down here. It's kind of like an Aldi. Um, generally not a good thing. Here we go. Yeah, just covered in them. Not big ones, but they're very fat down here in the west coast generally and tasty. Muscles, muscles, muscles. Yeah. That just goes and goes and goes. Beautiful. That muscle wall basically goes all the way out. Yeah. Nice and healthy. No, I'm not going to tell you where this rock is. <laughs> That's why spots stay like this. You keep it tight lipped but there's there's so many um spots along the, the west coast you don't need any specific rock just any rock and the water low tide you're gonna have muscles on it go for a mission have a bit of a explore it's all part of the fun all right let's grab some eh these look good now on top of each other here so just gonna dig in and get the babies. These are tight.
try another spot. I like to mix it up. Some areas um, might be in bit better conditions so here. I don't want to get them all from one spot and you might get lucky. They might, might all be fat and healthy, but they might be um, small and skinny. So Some good ones in here. If any of you guys watching uh, know any facts about mussels, if you've worked on mussel farms or anything, um, like the best time of the year to get the wild ones, or is there, um, you know, certain ones you should be picking and not, and I don't know. Don't know much about them, it's a bit of a hit or miss. Sometimes we just have some amazing hauls and they're just all fat. I know there's certain times of the year, but other than that, if you've got some tips and tricks, um, I'd love to hear them. I like the big, fat, healthy ones, so, um, Write a comment below. Got some nice fat ones in here. Well, right, I just found these nice little rock pools here. Up on this rock and geez, are just getting some fat. Look at this width on these muscles. They're just beautiful. So nice few fat ones in there. I'll rip out and get in there, getting a few. Absolutely loaded with good sized mussels, which is nice. One's down on the on the sand's edge, they tend to be quite a bit smaller. The main feed of mussels in here. Just yeah, beautiful. Yum. Got our feed. It's gonna chill out for a while. Take it in, a bit of a lie down. Just gotta remember to take it all in, eh, while, you, while I'm out here filming these adventures. So yeah, you just gotta just sit there and just, in general, even when you're out diving and hunting, just, just take a seat, eh, and just <laughs> slow it down a bit, eh, taking the scenery. It's all good, man. Muscles got me. Sharp little buggers, but um, all worth it. It's gonna be super tasty. Gonna chuck these on the bike. Oh, toughen the feet up. Beauty. So they can be a bit sandy, these uh, West Coast mussels, but um, yeah, they're not like the ones in the supermarket where they're just ready to go, clean as. But um, oh, you just quick steam open. Just enough to open them, um, put a crown in the water, do what you want with them. I, I don't have any problem, well sometimes you just don't, don't bother, I don't have time to let them spit out in a bucket overnight and stuff, it's just a bit of sand's not the end of the world, just, just get into them. There's my little muscle holder, perfect built. Beauty. Strap that treasure on somehow. Find some rope along the beach here somewhere. Try my boy off here on the side. Stay there. Beauty.
sun's coming right up now and it's just a absolutely awesome day it's really nothing better in my opinion come down here on one of these days it's just so good to recharge good for the mind good for the body if you walk <laughs> but they sent it on the bike but um it's all good oh well let's cruise back eh just found another seal um, I guess we have had some 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 serious uh, weather down here I haven't been keeping an eye on the weather too much lately but that explains all the all the all the bedrock um, exposed out of the sand and one dead seal now we've got a second one alive so yeah they um they've been pushed in unfortunately another little guy here girl actually looked pretty fresh so um, I don't think it's asleep <laughs> no um, yeah, it's, it's pretty fresh, it hasn't even started to decompose. That might only be a, a be a few days old or or whatnot. So um yeah, it must have been some some serious weather out here for them to get um, washed up like this and yeah. Interesting. You know the treasure, dead seal is not exactly uh treasure. Some pumice. Good foot scrub. A lot of pumice washes out of the um, Taupo uh, washes out of Waikato River and all sorts of places from the old Taupo explosion and, and it works its way all up and down the coast and washes up in bits and pieces. Um, yeah, if you've got some rough feet, find yourself a bit of pumice, good foot scrub. Nothing too exciting. I did see a bit of colour up in the um, in the rock earlier, I think there might be another uh, another boy. So I thought I'd come and check it on the way back because I know I'm going to be filled up with muscles. So plonk it on top. We'll go see if we can find it now. I don't think it's too far down the coast.
back at base. It's going to give the uh, bike a hose down. Got a little bit of a treasure. Actually, got a, a few over here. I'll show you. Find quite a few boys down the beach. Got a few there. Good old fishing boys. Make a good spear fishing flasher. Beautiful. Find a lot of this uh, sort of stuff down the coast. Right, we've got our catch. Beautiful. That's dinner sorted tonight. Can't wait. Mussels are really good for you, eh? These greenlit mussels have got anti inflammatory properties and all sorts of stuff. Full of nutrients, protein, good stuff. Soon we'll cook those um, cook those mussels up and have a feast. Oh hey, get a few um, guys asking how they can support me and um, stuff like that. There's a few options. We've got Patreon um, in my bio there, and um, you can join my channel and stuff. But probably the best way is just the little link I've got up in, under the video. I think it's in the description. Buy me coffee. Um, it's just a new feature, um, so you can buy one or two or three or how many coffees. Um, and that uh, that goes a long way. They've got, I think they take about five percent, so um, pretty much all going straight to me. So um, that'd mean a lot if you if you feel like helping me out, um, get this channel channel going, continuing. Um, other than that, if you can't afford that, that's not a worry. It's hard times at the moment, so just a thumbs up would um, be um, pretty pretty cool. So anyways, hope you liked that uh, adventure, guys. Please. Um, if you liked it just give me a little thumbs up or a uh, comment below anything like that share it helps out and um, hope that inspired a few of you to get out there and get your own feed it's always good tastes better tastes better if you catch it yourself um, but yeah plenty more to come plenty more adventures otherwise we'll see you in the next adventure cheers g'day guys uh, this is the day after the mission I had some for lunch some mussels uh, we just had them steamed open and in a sandwich with some cheese and uh, what do we have? Sweet chilli sauce, that was beautiful. So, um, mussels again for dinner. They've just been sitting in the fridge. Fridge overnight, they're fine. Still fresh as. And, um, yeah, some beauties in here. They're in really good condition so far, the ones we had for lunch. Um, not huge, but just, yeah, beautiful uh, colour and nice and fat. So, yeah. But yeah. Pretty much uh, any way you do these, uh, they're always tasty, love mussels, they're so versatile, you can do so many different recipes, we often do um, kind of uh, a lot of coconut milk mixtures with Thai green curry or um, sweet chilli and, and coconut milk goes good, um, plenty of options, anyways, well, um, show you a quick uh, cook up of these, um, and yeah, throw some uh, suggestions in the comments because I just love mussels, any, um, any other recipes you've got, ideas, um, Keep them simple. I like to I like to keep it simple and quick and easy. Yeah, nothing uh, nothing with like thirty ingredients. Okay, keep it uh, keep it quick. All right, just got a little bit of water in there. We'll get that um, heated up. Get some mussels in there, lid on, and uh, get them steaming. All right, we've got some water in there. I'm just gonna let that heat up. Get the mussels in lid on and uh, quick steam just enough to open up, I don't want to cook them and then we'll uh, rip into the rest of it alright let that steam away just enough to open them up, I know, that, I know they taste better um, if you can shuck them while they're raw, alive, but yeah, I haven't figured out how to, how to shuck them raw yet. I know it's probably pretty easy, but um, yeah, I don't have time to do that right now. I'm, I'm starving, so I just want to get this feed done and get it in my belly. All right, we've got a couple of them opening up already, so we're not going to uh, muck around. You just want to get them out of that pot straight away. As soon as they've opened up there, in they go. Out they go, should I say. And we will just work our way through these ones at the bottom. 
soon as they're done, get it out of there. You just want to stop them cooking. Right over, just open these guys up. And uh, beautiful, nice, bright color West Coast mussels. Not big, but they're um, fat and tasty. So we're going to whip all those out. I'm going to chop, chop them up and then we're going to mix them up, get it into a uh, batter and fry them up. First batch of mussels all deshelled, and I'm um, just going to give them a quick rinse under the water because these West Coast mussels can be very sandy. I don't usually bother, but I'll just show you um, how easy it is to get that sand out, and then we're going to chop them up and get them done. Literally, really easy. Just peel it open, quick shake, done. Clean mussel. So do the rest of those, and then um, they're going to be good to go. Our clean mussels, beautiful. Give them a just a rough, loose chop up. I still like to have a nice bit of texture, so big bits of muscle. In they go. Can of corn kernels, some flour in there, touch of bacon powder. Usuals, salt, pepper, whack an egg or two, help bind that together. Add a bit of liquid there, mix it all up, and ready to go. From the mussels, and that should be spot on. All right, cheese and sweet chili sauce on. They are gonna be epic. All right, they won't take long. Sweet as that is gonna come up month, I reckon. Whew, getting very hungry now, mouse watering. Just got the mussels out and they are looking very tasty. Crisp up nicely, beautiful. All right guys, dinner's served. Show you what we got here. All right, got our sweet chili mussels. Beautiful crispy golden fritters with corn and a bit of a dip in sauce, sour cream and sweet chili. So um, that's enough for me. I'm gonna tuck in before this gets cold. Cheers for watching. Hope you got some uh, recipe ideas out of there and uh, enjoyed the adventure. Stay tuned for more.